Yeah, man, say all praises on and to your And double and to the apostles, to the elders of Greenman Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and more there pushing this truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. Shalom also to the two sisters. Yeah, this is the brother from James Jamaica Camp. Um Yashamai, along with the brother um, Chapal and I war. I don't want to um you know listen, you know, um you know, according to Isa, you know, we know a new year, you know, apostle, you know, Dean is here of the year hopeful. Um, time of Jacob's trouble, right? And you know, as we see, what basically take place, taking place, you know, from the end of 2023, you know, coming on to 2024, you know, you know, a lot of things going to happen this year, you know, based off of what you know we see that from them time coming up, right? And you know, we you know, even in this truth, we're supposed to, um, you know, get you make sure we get yourself ready, you know, for that time because that time going to be a time like never, right? The scripture said, yeah, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Is it? Go on. Second Ezra 14 and 30. It says, um, it says, No, therefore, set thine house in order. Go on. And reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And, and no renounce corruption. I renounce corruption. Go on. It says, Let go from the immortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Go on. I will bring out the scripture, you know, a lot. You know, Previous videos, but you know, we actually in the time you know, we're supposed to uh, get yourself in the right mindset, you know, as I mentioned, right? Scripture said, so we're supposed to, you know, um, examine ourselves, you know, each day. As scripture said, we're supposed to examine ourselves if we're in the field, right, or not, right? Because the time we're, we're heading to is going to be a very terrible time, right? I pass on the apostle here, the previous year, hopefully, of Jacob's son. Can, can. And people tell us you know, all the things that will take place, you know, um, during the time, lead up to your house shy making them arrive, right? Can, can. And, um, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and ease thee to flee from these times. And ease thee to flee from these times. Go on. He says, he says, yeah, basically, go back to him, um, Psalm 2nd Ezra 16, I think about 74, or uh, down on. Basically, it is saying, don't let your arm um, your sin weigh you down. Actually, it's a, it's a set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Because every day, the things that will bother your mind daily. The things of the flesh. The things that the flesh will bother your mind daily. It says, um, it says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Then. Greater evil in their head, we will basically have to it. Now we are actually, a scene that takes place right now, as I mentioned, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, the whole of temptation, all these things. Right, the famine. What is that? When man has set the camera. Rufi, I don't want to get lost, so I want to go back that way. No, I don't want to get lost. I don't want to get lost. Verse 17, he says, Who is me? Who is me? Who will deliver me? I'm not going to get lost today. Come now. Where you want me? I know where I'm going. But the one we drive from. Alright. Now, second answer 16, verse 17, he says, he says, Who is me? Who is me? Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. So, we all we see happening, yeah. you know, from, you know, Good. I was going to start saying from 2023, okay. right? From 2020, really, we see things really heating up, right. right? But you know, 2023, we see a lot of things happening. Happening basically, but then we need to know, right? And, um, you know, the year of start is one in place with a big earth trip okay. with um, yeah, Japan, Japan, right? Yeah, start off with a bang, you know? That's it? right. So, you know, so this year now going to be a normal year. Okay. Right, go on, brother. It says, um, it says, Who is me, who is me, who will deliver me in those days? It's so the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Man. Yeah, that's what's coming. The beginning of famine and great death. Man. The beginning of wars and, and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. Um, what shall I do when, the, when these evils shall come? Man. Yeah. It says, uh, The whole famine and plague, trib tribulation, and anguish are set are sent as scourges for amendment, but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness. 
nor be always mindful of the scourges. Can, so all the things have been happening, you know, Jake's still not taking heat. All this choking, all the things that will see, you know, take place if I'm um, even 2020 coming up. Right, even out here in Jamaica, you have, you have a, a major earthquake into um, Jamaica um, last year. Right, shake up a lot of so called Jamaicans, you know, Shah Mini from Chava Benjamin. And people still have shock effects. Still have them, yeah. If you're even to this day, but they still not turning. Right? So, all these things are definitely for them still not take, not, still not take heat. But we understand to, you know, to the scripture, according to what we written, that majority of people does not get it. Until the time of judgment, they're going to right. really say, you know, the scripture says, then shall they you know, know that there will be a prophet among them. So, all right. things have been happening. People now cancel them ways. Right? Go on, brother. It says, um, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Mm. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword famine and great confusion. And always the greatest confusion that takes place on this earth. Right? All the them are madness, you know, happening on the earth, you know, see like a, you know, pastors. You know, top celebrities, you know, I get exposed you now, all different type of things with them involving. Right? Because we live in a corrupt society. Right? People say, uh, are the leaders, are the, as army, judge himself, so as all his officers. Which is right. So the leaders of the society, they basically um, are wicked people. Are the wicked, according to what we're in Malachi 1 and 4. You eat them. We shall call them the body of wickedness. So, uh, you know, so, so the men, them are honey, them are basically, uh, uh, them are lead, uh, lead these men, they're going to be wicked too, because they're following the wicked. This is a wicked society. Can, can. Right? And that's how and that's what how how Ashimir is gonna go do right now, get rid of this society altogether. Because a corrupt place. You know? As I'm your pastor Gabba, you know, we got definition for you know, sex food. Right? Man? It says um for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Can. And the and the other that escape the hunger. And the other is that escape the hunger, so I'll always escape the, the famine. Mm -hmm. You know, see preparing to take place. Right? Talking about the Wooty Rebels then, you know, uh, and go out and all of our things then, you know, you know, mm -hmm. Middle East, right, we can lead to, you know, um, blockade at the supply chain, yeah. you know? Yeah, because uh, these things are, but, you know, people are really business, we're regular jet, uh, regular, regular jet, really business, because, you know, it's not, not important to them, can. because, you know, food can go to, can go to the supermarket and they can get food yeah. and all these things now. Just a picture shall be so good cheap, man. Um, they might get food to eat um, yeah. as they want now and <coughs> they can't find the money to do it. But, but more evils are grow up. Yeah. And the, the reason why the scripture says that accompany them like a thief in the night because just like we, we, uh, we as men of the Lord, we are watch to say say them things that can happen at any time. Majority of people them now watch to say them things that come. Because enough of them mindset is that. We are going over this side, we are going over this side and make this, now nah, affect them. See? Yeah. That's that the mindset they have. It says, um, it says uh, escape the famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Go on. Yeah. Right, scripture. Mm, this is, um, Amos 5, 118. It says, Won't it you that, the des that desire the day of the Lord? Right. What end is it for you? Can't. So she was saying, want you that desire the day of the Lord. We desire the day of the Lord. <coughs> so we, we in this truth, we desire the day of the Lord. Right? A lot of, a lot of so called, you know, so called Christians, you know, or people, they go to these, these so called churches and desire the day of the Lord, but they don't understand what the day of the Lord will be like. And we, through, you know, through, through the Spirit, understand, you know, these are what in the scripture, with what basically will take place. Right? That's how we understand, you know, we don't, we don't fully know everything, but based off of what in the scripture we understand. As if I tell us, it's going to be a time of trouble, never since there was a, you know, there's a nation. It's not God. like this ever happened, when it will take place. Right, so we understand to a certain level what we have, what, what basically about to come up on the earth. And that's the reason why we supposed to get ourselves right, you know, get ourselves, you know, right with Yahweh Bar Shemir Shai. As people say, you know, um, so we're supposed to, you know, push this through to the best of our ability. Because when things get real serious, our holy hope is in your house, Hashem, your shy, there's no other way because we can't nothing at all to save ourselves. Oh. Right? Okay. Nothing at all we can't save ourselves. Your house, Hashem, your shy, make it only one way to escape it, all the things to come and through him. 
Because it's going to take a lot of faith. Things are going to happen. Our test, our basically test a lot of us faith. Right? Are we supposed to exercise faith right now? Before these things come. So certain things, you know, we're supposed to use as you know as exam exam basic example. We go through being in this truth over the years. That's when the time comes we don't doubt the Heavenly Father. Done, done. Right? Hopefully we don't doubt it. Right? Because you must say if you doubt, then now we'll be defended. Done, done. Right? Alright. Sir, so, want you that desire the day of the Lord. Gone. To what end is it for you? To what end is it for you? Gone. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Darkness, you know, very terrible time. Right? Death and destruction. All around. Gone. Says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and laid his hand on the walls and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and no light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Run. It's going to be a very terrible time, right? The time we're approaching right now. A time like never before. Come, come. Right? Definitely a one and a one. Right. Uh, definitely a um, one and a four three. One and four three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely a one verse fourteen. He says, um, he says, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastening greatly. Done. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The voice of the day of the Lord. The prophets. You know, the men we see on the highways and the byways, you know, pushing this truth across the world. Right? Especially, right, the men of James, you know, like minded brothers. Right? But the voice of the day of the Lord. Can. Like what? Um, the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. So the time we are approaching is going to be a very terrible time. Skipper said, the mighty men. I'll cry bitterly. Right? So men, like for example, you know, the Russians them, them built for war. Can, can, can. Them sleep for war. They have to eat war, drink war. That's how much they, they basically, you know, um, you know, uh, built Peter. Because they, they, for their mindset is all about war. Can. So they, they, that's what basically Russian them stay. Most people are saying the time we're approaching right now will be like no other time. And, and then basically I get, you know, in you know, that Free my mind based on what's taking place in Ukraine, you know, a couple, a couple of years now. Thank God. Yeah, Ukraine war. So they get built up, you know, that, that war spirit. But the scripture tell you what will take place in the days to come. Mighty so the men. mighty men are cry bitterly. Right? So what will happen to, you know, the weak men? If the mighty men are cry bitterly, if the scripture goes as far as so, a man will cry like a woman in travail pain. Right? So, so time will be here. very terrible. What? Hey, and, and the scripture gives us examples of things that happened in the past. Yeah. Because it tells us the things that were written before that were for learning. Right. Because back then, even in Egypt, remember, I said back in Egypt, hey, you have the fear of them, fear of a mighty army, man. See? And when, and when the darkness comes in, 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 in a wisdom of Solomon, we tell about even them, mm. the fear of them crying, man. And the scripture tells us so the day them out, the day was going to come, was worse than them time then. Yeah. See? Just imagine, man. Yeah. It says, um, it says that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. Right. Yeah, how wrath? Yeah, how about the potent wrath upon the society? I can't what in the scripture say, oh, punish the world for the evil and the wicked for the iniquity. Right? Can. A day of trouble and distress, a yeah. day of wasteness and desolation, Can. a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Can. Tell you, thick darkness. Yeah? It says, you have a piece of back? Come on, come on. Up, up. A, day of, a day of the trumpet and <coughs> alarm against the fenced cities and against the eye towers. Run. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. Grand men are going to be confused and overturned. Right, bug the hell out, don't know what we can. do. Right, gonna lose it. But the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge are gonna be the stability of that time. So, the wisdom of how about Shemir Shah go here to make us stay stable in the days to come? Like, like, right? like, like the example, as we always mentioned about the movie every time we had a video, um, leave the world behind. 
the, 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 the scripture, the scripture says, men are going to walk like blind men because this, this man, he might say, when he say about him, he may not use without him, him GPS and him phone. Yeah. <laughs> they were actually, they were actually dead, dead to walk on around him, man. See? Last. Yeah, last. Last. Yeah. yeah. Men walk like blind men mm -hmm. because they have sinned against the Lord mm -hmm. and their blood shall be poured out as dust and and their flesh as shall dust. as their flesh as the dung mm -hmm. neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Can't say nothing at all the money they have. You know, all the riches now can be available in those days. Profit, not right? Exactly, which is profit, not in the day of right. So all the money we you, you, you have now in the society are, you, you are basically having a position. You're not going to be able to save in the days to come. There's only one thing. The how can save us. The how to himself, the how is going to save us. Thank God. Right? Thank God. Money, power, feel. Deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Man. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of, of his jealousy. So America will become 100% desert by these ICBM and warrant. You know, we're going to basically shoot on that land, a land mass. Right? So if I explain and tell you that, you know, the, the wild beasts of the islands are going to dwell there. Which is right. Right? So some creatures will live back on that land because smoke will go for generation to generation. Right? It says, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Right. Right. Now watch him in shine, man. Since the second is just 15, let's jump on the point verse 10. It says, um, behold, my people is led as a um, as flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Because so even if I say I'm going to smite Egypt with plagues as before, right? It's where I mentioned about ancient Egypt. Look what even if I say, how did back then to ancient Egypt? How long we live now in modern day Egypt? Right? Spiritual Egypt, according to what we did in Revelation 11 and verse 8, spiritually known as Saddam and Egypt. So imagine what take place this time around. Yes, we just say they shall no longer speak about um, what? Yeah, you can bring out a scripture. You can't be going down and skip trying to drive my attorney and save my belief. This is Jeremiah 23 verse 7 says, Therefore, behold, the days come, it said the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth that bought the children. From Israel out of the land of Egypt. The land of Egypt, the land of ancient Egypt. What? Um, but the Lord lived that bought up um, and which led the seed. Um, and which uh, led the seed, the seed uh, of, right? of the house of Israel out of the north country. This is North America. Uh, all the countries where I have driven them. Yeah, and they shall dwell in their own land. Exactly. So all of the scattered through the four gone here that can't be cursed. going to get delivered. When the four wings of the earth are can't do what we need to speak. Right? So, so people now no longer speak about ancient Egypt or the Lord of God in ancient Egypt. They want to speak about this deliverance or this destruction that will take place because it's going to be way more greater. Yeah. Greatest don't fall of a, uh, greatest don't fall of a kingdom. Right? Because Isa himself a child fight against the Lord and the angels and I can't work in the scripture. So this king is going to be the greatest king, the greatest don't fall. You see how the, see how the, um, the Lord will deliver him, him, him elect men out of the um, when the ICBM missiles come yeah. and drop yeah. Yeah. through the midst of that fire where my delivery men is it? It's basically we're going to escape by what? Lord's will be a part of the deal, escape yeah. by the skin of the teeth. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. So I will, um, back in 2nd Ezra 15 and 11, and I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out hand and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. God. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten. God. The plague and the punishment and the Lord Yahweh shall bring upon it. Shall bring upon it. Um, going into, um, Can I just go and bring up that? Can I go, go in on that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Let's go for a report in it. Go to the world and them that dwell therein. The sword and their destruction joy at night. Run. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. You're talking about race war. war. Civil, right? civil, civil war. Yeah. Right? Civil and race. That's basically what's coming, especially for America. Yeah. 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 Civil war movie. Yeah. As we've been talking about the predictive programming, yeah. Yeah, one back of the other, yeah, 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 they're gonna push it into the movies, then. Yeah. And I hope to something. And I wake up the mind of people, then. To get the uprising, then. Yeah. And you can see all, a lot of little different skirmishes that go on over, all over the different, different places, man. France, Germany, you know, uproots of the people, the Palestinian, and, and basically the pro Palestinian people, man, all this way. I'll do them march and all of them things, then. So everything I get. No. Skip to say, Lord, I set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Yeah? All right. So, uh, verse 16. So there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes. But now, we care no more about leader, prime minister, president. Right? Opposition party. Done, done. It's all about survival. So, what do we see that level? Right? We care about leader no more. Huh? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. Which is right. It's a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Huh? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed. The house is going to get destroyed. Get destroyed. I'm going to loot. Right? right? I'm going to loot. You know, Jake love loot already. Right? Come near the house, come take your food. Search up the house and uh, find anything. That they, uh, if they don't find it, then, then basically. Check you, I check your family to give it to them. But to reach that level, all these things are going to take place you know, in, in the near future. I can't do what I bring up from the scripture. Right? So a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great and for great tribulation. Right. Right. Great tribulation, right? Time of Jacob's trouble. In a hopeful year of time of Jacob's trouble. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> um, take another 16 and 37. It says, Behold, the pigs draw nigh and are not slack. As when a, as when a woman, a child, in nine months, bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her, come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so, shall not the plagues be slacked to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Yeah, yeah, see your scary time. Please come. It is, as, as it says, go back to the day of the Lord. I said that if you flee from one place and to another, yes. sorrows will come upon it. Only from one trouble line up the next trouble. trouble yeah. Right, all around. <laughs> as the right. scripture said, destruction cometh and they shall see peace, but there shall be none. Right. Flee from one country to the other. Book yeah. up, 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 up something worse and we basically left your yeah. country. Right. I know a lot of leaders are going to try and flee the country. Yep. Which is right. But people are going to look for them and so try and flee to another place. I'm going to do something worse and we left. Which is right. But poor. He says, he says, Oh my people, hear my word. And make you ready to die battle. You better ready to the battle. The time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Get yourself ready. Get, get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. Get yourself in the right mindset. You know, for basically those days to come. Which is right. Right? Okay. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. God. It says, He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth as one. That will lose. Oh, no, yeah, but lose. So all we have, you know, we have basically no position. How we are doing right now in this society? We, we have, basically, we have to have it now back our mind that in the day we're gonna lose these things. Because in the day, in the day, you know, profit us right in the near future. Our during the time of Jacob's trouble, right? Uh, right? You say, the elements shall melt the fear and the heat. Everything where we are looking for now, man, we're treasure in this life. Yeah. You know, these but things that we get to see at times, it's a moment. It's a period of time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, nothing, nothing. We still have to believe it. We're going to be a whole bunch of things. We're supposed to hold it. 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 We're supposed to hold it.
I say it is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but ye shall be saved out of it. Who shall be saved out of it? The elect yeah. gonna be saved out of it. Because the idea is all about the elect. Damn. Only elect gonna get delivered from all these things about to come on the earth. Damn. Damn. All the death and destruction about to basically reign on the earth. It's only elect gonna get delivered from it. That's it. That's yeah, how wash 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 and all who remain after this coming nuclear destruction, these hidden nations remain back. Because you're gonna have. You're going to have certain nations who still live on, live, live through the, the, the um, coming nuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. Right? Just basically start out slavery. Right? Right. Right, man. Finish? Alright, so with that, I say all praises and honor to you. Wash me, shy, wash me, wash me, wash me. Double honor to the apostles, to the elders of Great Men's Stone. Shalom, also to the few, to the brothers them, out there pushing this church. Shalom, also to the few sisters. Yeah, we are almost out of this society. Shalom. Shalom.